Chickens are crazy. Everybody's eating in the backyard. Yeah. But we're just out here. It's Friday night or Friday afternoon. It's not night yet. Um, processing chickens in the morning. And I need to make a chicken drying rack. It's basically one inch scheduled 40 PVC. It's going to have five uprights on it. Kind of be like a half circle shape. Um, that way after we, you know, process chickens, we pluck them. We eviscerate them. We'll put them in the cooler. And we get ready to bag them up. We'll be able to take them out the cooler, set them on that rack. They'll be able to drip water out. We can cover them with the bag, keep the bugs off of them. Let them drip some water out so we don't have all the water inside the bag when we freeze them. So... That's what we're fixing to do. Guys, if you're wondering where I got these earrings from, it's for my mom. She let me wear her earrings. So I came back with my dress. Very pretty. Mama, mama, it's like that. The other one's the same. Yep. So we're going to shop and we're going to make this thing real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Fortnite dances. I do, guys. Oh, wait. Is this right? Three. Ah! Final one. Three. Uh oh. Killing it. So, let's get in the shop and make this thing while they play. <laughs> so, what we got. We've got a 10 foot piece of one inch scheduled 40 PVC. You need a tape measure, marker to mark the pipe. We've got one of these cutters. I'm sure you could use the saw, but I'm gonna use the cutters today. We also got glue and primer. Seems like every time I do a project, I gotta buy another pack of that because the glue dries up. Five T's, four, 45s and four caps. The caps just to top off the cap off the top of the pipe. That way, chicken juice doesn't go all down in it because that's kind of unsanitary. So, we're going to measure this 10 foot pipe and cut everything down to one foot sections. Got all our one foot pieces. Now I think we're gonna have to trim some of them, but we're gonna go ahead and dry fit it. Well, we gotta put the T to the 45. I think we're gonna have to probably take like two inches off of a couple of them to put those two together. So we're just gonna cap off five of these. So whatever we got a cap, we're gonna have to have a T on the bottom. So we know that. And I got this idea from Travis over at Homesteading the Right Way. I think it might have been on Kim Folk's farm of Georgia's videos. They were processing chickens and I seen this thing and I thought that was really genius, really. So I contacted them, asked if it'd be okay. So I made this video to share with everybody and if I could make one, if he could kind of give me the ideas, the pointers, picture of it, see. So he did, really awesome. Appreciate that, Travis. So now everything should be cut. So we're gonna put a 12 inch piece on the end. I probably should have got another cap on each end there. So we may do that later, but not going to the store now. I'll write out the exact piece measurements on how to cut and what you need. And we'll show that at the end because I'm learning as I go. That's it. As you can see, I probably should have got two more caps, cap off these ends, but we have a six inch piece to a T, to a two inch piece, to a 45, 10 inch T, two inch 45. 
so on all the way around until we get to the six inch here at the end. These are 12 inches here. That'll be plenty big enough for the chicken to sit on. The caps will keep it from going through the neck. As some of y'all know, gluing and priming PVC can be messy, so we're gonna put on gloves. I've got some butcher paper. I'm gonna put that down just to keep my little tabletop here from getting all stained up. So your primer's purple. Your glue is this color. This is the one I bought anyway. It's regular clear PVC cement and the purple primer. Purple primer looks really messy. I'm probably to get some pliers to open up these cans for the first time. Oh, nope, got that one. Let's see if we can get the glue. Nope, get the pliers. We got our glue open, primer's open. Get a piece of sandpaper. It's just 220 grit, it's nothing harsh or anything. All you want to do is just want to sand it. It just kind of roughs up the surface. Make sure it's clean. See, already dripping. I'm gonna put just a little bit of primer on it and it makes a mess. See, look at that. That's ah, gonna look like crap. Whenever you glue these, you make sure you glue your fittings as well. I don't ever sand the fittings. Maybe you should sand the fittings. I don't know. We ain't gonna do it. We kind of lay this back out the way it goes. So hopefully we don't glue it together wrong because pretty much once it's glued, that's it. All right, so we got about half of it primed. We're gonna go ahead and get this half glued up. So when you glue it, just the same way. Just put your glue over where your primer is. Put a little bit of glue in your fitting. You always want to push and twist. That'll help get any air out of the joint. Make it real tight. Hold there for a second. She ain't going nowhere. The fun part's gonna be putting all this together and hopefully being able to lay it down straight. Push and twist and we're gonna set it. I'm gonna take it flat. And hope like goodness gracious we get it right. We'll just do that all the way around. So that's it guys, it's done. Whole lot bigger than what I thought it would be, but get our mess cleaned up. I said, I'll get two more caps and we'll cap off these in, just keep anything from going in. I'll write down a list of the materials, the cut list, and we'll post that in. And there's a chicken drying rack. So we got the uh, meat birds moved down in place. Hold on, baby. We got our killing cones in, our buckets underneath to catch the blood. We got our fish cooker there to scald, and over there is where the plucker will go. And we got a table where we'll cut up. Yeah. But that's it, guys. I said I'll post up. Whoa, get out the middle of the thing. But I'll put a picture at the end of this video of the exact cut list and uh, part nah. list. But that's all. We appreciate Get your big old head out the way. Well, that's it. We appreciate you guys watching. So I'm going to try to film tomorrow some of the chicken processing. And uh, I'm not monetized, so I'm not going to lose no money. Stop. But appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it'll help somebody. So if you guys ever have any questions, just comment on the videos or Facebook, Instagram. I try to answer everybody. So appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Like the videos. We got more to come. See y'all later. God bless you.